Shorty buck wow. so I can't just go all the way out and just go to Beverly Hills and find oh, one on no. Sunset. I gotta oh, go on no. Crenshaw, you know yeah, I mean? right. but, And you know the chances of that. Chances Crenshaw. are very high of that. That's but not true. Takes a while. There's always a diamond in the no matter where you go. That's right. Mm -hmm. So this is Yaki. Yaki is one of the outlaws and Yaki Kadab. He's the uh, notorious ladies' man. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah. So uh you're here for Tupac's birthday, right? Yeah, I'm here for the kid's birthday. Got a couple presents, you know what I mean? Got little, Catching everything? Got a little outfit just in case we go out, you know what I mean? With me, you know, me and me a little bit. That's my outfit dwell. Yeah, we might go in the studio, but hopefully we can get a chance to mingle. Get a close up. Uh-huh. <laughs> get a close up to me mingling. <laughs> do a little mingling. Do a little mingling. You don't do that often because uh -huh. you work so hard. Especially you dressed like this. Hard. You know, I mingle with my jeans and my sneakers. Exactly. It's not, you know, every day, man. Get a chance to mingle with some shoes and some, you know, real uh -huh. cold. But, uh, so we tried to find you guys last night. We were waiting out in the cold at the studio. And yeah. You showed up. Thanks to the uh, old bag of belly chances once again. So you go hold bag of belly on the spot for that one. Okay. We got singers, we got rappers, we got sex symbols like Lil Boo over there. We got it all. Alright, peace y'all. Peace, peace, peace. So, um, in this video, um, I'm going to be doing somewhat of a prequel. Uh, to my last video, which was um, a video on Death Row Records, all right? And this is going to be focusing on uh, the artist, Yaki Gaddafi, all right? Um, now, Yaki Gaddafi uh, was actually real close friends with Tupac Shakur. You know, they basically were God brothers, all right? But like I always do with these videos, I'm going to be very respectful uh, to his family and his friends, all right? And um, I'm going to give you guys some pointers on what I truly believe may have taken place um, in this situation, all right, with the death of Yaki Gaddafi, all right? Um, now, Yafu Akieli Fula, all right, um, was born October 9th, 1977, all right, in the Bronx, New York. All right, now, um, his father, Siku Odinga, all right, was a part of the Black Liberation Army, okay? Now, um, the Black Liberation Army, all right, was basically a sector of the Black Panther Party, all right? Um, around 1968, they had ventured off and did their own thing and created their own group, all right? And Siku Odinga... Uh, was actually a part of the Black Liberation Army, all right? Um, now, Saku Odinga went into hiding after uh, hearing the news that he was wanted, all right, for shooting a police officer. Um, and when he got this news, he remained low-key until he was captured in 1981, all right? Now, uh, Yaki Gaddafi's mother, uh, Yasmin Fula, all right, uh, was actually close friends with Afeni Shakur. All right, now, um, they had met during the Black Panther days and uh, were close ever since then, all right? So they basically raised Tupac and uh, Yaki Gaddafi together, all right? Um, now, Yaki Gaddafi, they were close childhood friends, all right, and were uh, also considered to be so close that people actually thought um, that they were cousins, all right? Uh, but they were really close friends at a very young age, all right? Now, in uh, 1994, at the age of 16, all right, um, Tupac and Yaki, along with Napoleon, uh, basically formed the group called Dramacidal, okay? And uh, Tupac actually featured them on his Me Against the World album, on the songs Me Against the World, and also on the song Outlaw. 
Now, with Tupac having experience in Hollywood and in the music business, he basically showed Yaki and Napoleon the ropes about the music industry, all right? Like, he gave them pointers on, you know, the business side of it, you know, and that it wasn't just focused on uh, rhyming over a beat, okay? Now, um, in 1995, after Tupac was released from prison, um, Yaki Gaddafi was invited uh, to also sign with Death Row Records, all right? But since Pac had gained connections from being in prison, uh, he basically brought along three other members. And these three other members consisted of Hussein Fatal, okay, who has uh, passed away and died in a car crash in 2015, uh, Castro, and also Kamani, all right? And with these connections, he started the Outlaws, all right? Now, he worked immediately with the Outlaws on their album after his obligations with Death Row was finished, all right? So once he finished the Seven Day Theory album, he basically immediately started to work on the Outlaws album, all right? And um, put the Outlaws out quick, fast, all right? So that's how that album actually came out in the play. Now, on September 7th, 1996, uh, Tupac Shakur was shot five times on the Las Vegas Strip. And six days later, uh, Tupac was pronounced dead on September 13th, 1996. Now, um, Yaki Gaddafi was actually riding in the car behind Tupac when the incident took place. All right. Now, Napoleon uh, from the Outlaws made a public statement saying that Gaddafi actually saw the man who shot Tupac face to face. So he says here, Gaddafi actually seen the person who killed Pac. He said the guy looked right at him. He pulled the arm out and saw the shooting. You know what I mean? Then he goes on to say, they witnessed it. The outlaws was there, but Gaddafi seen the guy. The guy looked at Gaddafi, and Gaddafi looked back at him. And Gaddafi didn't expect, he didn't know what was about to happen until he seen an arm come out the window. I don't think it was Baby Lane, Orlando Anderson, the one who Gaddafi seen. All right? Now, on November 10th, 1996, Yaki Gaddafi was shot in the head, point blank range at a housing project in New Jersey. Now, it is said that Yaki Gaddafi was willing to identify the gunman of Tupac's murder from a photo lineup. But one week later, after he agreed to make the statement, the police sent him back to New Jersey. Two months later, he was shot dead. Now, this is public information that Roddy Beal, who is the cousin of the rapper Napoleon, all right, was actually the gunman who killed Yaki Gaddafi, all right? Now, Napoleon claims that it was an accident, being that Roddy Bill was underage at the time, and Napoleon actually told his cousin Roddy to turn himself in, and in return, he would only serve eight years. But now, what I find interesting about this story is that um, Yasmin Yafu who is Yaki Gaddafi's mother, um, actually says that Napoleon's story is false, okay? And that Roddy Beal only served four years for the murder of her son, being that he was only just a minor, all right? So being that he shot Yaki Gaddafi at the age of 16, okay, he only served four years in prison, and he came out at the age of 20. Now, Sources say that Yaki Gaddafi was actually wearing a bulletproof vest when this incident took place, all right? Um, he was wearing a bulletproof vest daily, every day, after people found out he was willing to testify on Tupac's behalf, all right? And some people say that he was also receiving death threats as well, all right? So there's a lot of fishy business going on uh, with this story here, all right? But what I want to point out is this, okay? Um, 
you guys got to understand a lot of these things, and I spoke about this before, right? A lot of these situations that took place with Tupac Shakur um, and the people that surrounded him, right, was all actually CIA issues, okay? Um, this goes way back to the Black Panthers, all right, to the FBI and COINTELPRO, all right? A lot of these people had a, had connections and information, government information, um, that was detrimental. Now, I'm not going to say that Yaki Gaddafi was killed because he knew something more uh, to the story, but, you know, if, if possible, um, that he was going to point out the gunman, all right, that would have changed the narrative of this whole Tupac conspiracy, right? Now you have people come out and coming out now saying that they killed Tupac or this person killed Tupac, right? It's all to steer you off of the narrative. And then you got some people that might say Tupac is still alive, right? But it's all to keep your mind in, in, a, in a blunder, okay? Because like I said, when you start digging deep into this, you realize that a lot of this stuff was connected to the CIA, all right? A lot of it was COINTELPRO. A lot of it was federal, federal, federal business, all right? So, um, I truly believe, I truly believe that there is a, a conspiracy behind uh, the story of Yaki Gaddafi being murdered, all right? Um, not once in my mind do I believe that this was an accident. Okay, um, I truly believe that he was willing, he was willing uh, to help uh, solve the case of Tupac's murder. And once, you know, someone got wind of that, all right, um, you know, he had to be taken out of here. All right, see, this is what you guys got to understand. This industry is very dangerous. You know, it's, it's, the, this music business has a lot of blood on his hands. All right. Um. So with that being said, um, if you guys know any more information, you know, you can leave it in the comments below. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on uh, the Yaki Gaddafi story. It's not really much about him out there being that um, his career was very short lived, you know, but him being the right hand man of Tupac Shakur, you know, and then dying two months after. All right. Um, you know, there's some kind of conspiracy behind this. All right. Some kind of conspiracy behind this, man. So um, I'm praying for his family and his friends, you know. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I'll be doing more videos for you guys as well. And uh, peace. Without light? Yeah. All right, get me without light. I already introduced myself, you know what I'm saying? I ain't too good with the cameras and stuff. Let the young lady boy come through. Yeah, catch, catch that. Stockings. Catch Gotta that. Catch that. Catch that. Okay. You know, I'm the ladies' man, too, so you might That's see that right. when you uh, later on. But, uh, I guess this is the introduction to our little home video, you know what I mean? This is the studio part of anything we do. We're gonna have anything. We'll get anything. This is just the studio right here. Young Edie.